Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have the one, the only, uh, talk to tier 6 British premium heavy tank, uh, played by Collusion. Monster Jank over here with a very nice matchup actually against some tier 5 vehicles. <laughs> As you can see in the chat already, people are very hyped when they see a Tog either on their team or the other team. It's just a tank loved by all basically. Um, so Collusion is going to go with Bond Turbo, Bounty Vents and a Bond Gun Rammer to make this vehicle I guess very good with the gun, very uh... I'm very fast, I was not <laughs> yeah, it's decent in terms of mobility and not awful. Uh, but yeah, usually most people take hardening on the Tog because of that just juicy amount of HP. As you can see, 1610 hit points and tier 6. This is this is crazy amounts of HP um, for a tier 6 heavy tank. It's actually not the base amount, the base amount is 1560 hit points. Uh, but once you get all the field mods, it does go up to 1610. Yes, which is just, just crazy amounts over here. Uh, but what does that mean about the tongue? Like, if it does, it has so much HP, you know? Where, where's the, the weakness? Um, it doesn't have armor. Yeah, it is a heavy tank that actually doesn't really block anything. It's more of a, let's just trade, right? I have more HP than you. I have decent DPM with 1,800 DPM. I'm just gonna go forwards, I'm gonna shoot you 50 times. You'll shoot me 50 times, but I have more HP, so I'm gonna win. That's basically what the talk is all about. And it has really decent um, regular round penetration as well, 171. Even though Collusion decided to go with only premium rounds, 239 millimeters on those, which is delicious actually. Um, this vehicle can actually play with regular rounds, considering also the fact that this vehicle has preferential matchmaking. That means that this vehicle will never meet tier 8 vehicles, unless you actually go in a platoon with another tier 6 vehicle that doesn't have a preferential matchmaking. But the TOG, if you go in solo, you will never meet tier 8 vehicles. So that is just a huge uh, advantage in and of itself. Then we can just go forwards. Try to shoot, you don't mind taking a few hits in return because you do have all of the HP in the world, basically. Um, so, Tong. A lot of HP, very decent gun, 0.36 dispersion, it, it's okay, I guess. Um, 150 damage, like we said earlier, 171 penetration, 1800 DPM, so that is not bad as well. Uh, not the best, not the worst in terms of gun, a lot of HP, but the mobility, that is where this vehicle is just uh, the worst basically with 14 kilometers an hour top speed and only seven kilometers an hour reverse speed um, on the Tonk 2. If you do use a Bond Turbo like Collusion is using over here then it will go up to 20 kilometers an hour forwards and 11 reverse if I'm not mistaken which I guess it's, it's okay it's kind of like a T95 without a turbo at all uh, but yeah, this is definitely not a mobile vehicle, it's more of a just hold W, go into your position and then keep on holding W while you shoot people. That's what you need to do with your TOG too. And it's just such a fun vehicle to do that, just look at this. Going after the VK3601H, the tier 6 German heavy tank, showing us that a weaker area underneath the turret. Two shots into the VK over here. Doing good. Yeah, how much is it? I can't calculate it. Uh, never mind. Shooting the FV-304, the tier 6 British SPG. Can we get a shot over here? It doesn't seem like we can, unfortunately, as the FV escapes. But there we go. That VK is going forwards again. The VK wants some more some more shots, I guess. The VK wants all, all the smoke. Okay. There, there, there's been so much going on over here. So, Tog, basically, decent gun. Chunky amounts of HP. Awful mobility and awful armor with 114 millimeters on the turret and only 76 millimeters frontally on the Tonk 2. It's also a very flat vehicle, so I uh, don't really expect to bounce too many shots, I guess, with the Tonk 2. Just like I said, go forwards, trade. You do have more HP than any other tier 6 vehicle and more than most tier 7 vehicles, if not all uh, tier 7 heavies inside the game. Go forwards, as you can see, take a few hits, trade, win. That's basically what the talk is all about. Um, so yeah, while we have Collusion just owning all of the vehicles in front of them, 
Why am I showing the talk today? Well, that is because this vehicle you can actually get for free right now in the token store. I mean, it's not right now. You will need to collect tokens for a while before you can get this vehicle for free. But you will be able to. Once you get 45 tokens, you can get a total of 90 tokens, by the way. Um, and that means you can get two free tier 6 premium tanks. You can choose between the Tog 2, the Cromwell B, the Tiger 131, and the Britannia Panther. Personally, I would actually recommend going with the Cromwell B, as it is probably the best vehicle out of the bunch. And then the Tog. I did. Every single person inside the game must own a Tog. That is... That is what I believe, at least. It's just such a troll vehicle. It's fun. It's funny. And yeah, just just get the tongue, people. You should do that. You should definitely do that. But if you want to be competitive, go with uh, the Cromwell B. And then, I mean, the Tonk 2 is not bad. It's not a bad vehicle. But I believe the Tiger 131 might be better if you look at it, like, competitively wise. Go for the Tonk. Go for the Tonk, people. <laughs> but yeah, to get those tokens, um, you just need to watch Twitch, Twitch, Twitch streams, get those Twitch drops on weekdays and weekends. Those are two different Twitch drops. You need to connect your Twitch account to your Wargaming account to be able to get those tokens in your account. Um, and also, go to the D-Day Command Center website. I will leave a link to that down below in the description. So go over there, claim tokens. Um, every few days, they actually give more tokens over on that website. And like I said, weekdays, Twitch streams, weekends, Twitch streams, and you will be getting more and more tokens, up to 90 actually. Like I said, every vehicle costs 45 tokens, you can get 90, that means two different premium tier 6 tanks. Um, if you can't reach the 90 tokens, if you, like, to, you have something you need to go and do, you can't catch the Twitch streams during the weekdays maybe, um, you might be able to get one of the vehicles and then just get something else. There are other things to buy in the token store. There are lovely 3D styles, um, days of premium account if you want. So even if you can't reach 90, there are still rewards to get. Don't worry about that. But you will need 90 to get two vehicles. So yes, go and get the tokens from the command center. Go and watch Twitch streams, get those Twitch drops. So you'll be able to get some nice rewards over here. Whew, but that is that is basically it about the event. Fine, let's go focus on the Tog once more. This vehicle is just hilarious. Up to 2,800 damage, three kills over here. But the game is rather close. Same amount of kills on either side, same amount of vehicles remaining. But like, it seems we're up by 1,000 HP over here, right? But because there are a lot of vehicles outside of the render range, we actually don't know the uh, the real amounts of HP that vehicles have. So take that with a grain of salt, of course if vehicles are outside of the render range. Okay, collusion against a Cromwell over here. Already down to 558 HP, unfortunately. Uh, but, uh, I mean, that's just what the Tog does. It goes forwards, it trades, it finishes off three vehicles, and it stays alive. What else do you need, you know? Go after the Panzer 5 Force. There's actually an ELC best spotted towards the north as well. What? When did that ELC come from? I don't even know. Going after the Panzer 5 4 first, so that is a very, very good vehicle. They do want to finish them off quickly. And there we go. The Panzer 5 4 is gone with the Cromwell and the Amex ELC best going forwards towards the east. Shutting down the best. But now the Cromwell is shooting his inside. The Cromwell has better rate of fire. Luckily, the Cromwell doesn't have the HP. He can't pen the side for some reason. Right through the track. Not going through. Uh, collusion's track over here. Cromwell is a one shot. Collusion is on 400 HP still, which is kind of like half a Cromwell, so. Uh, it, it seems like we're on very low amounts of HP, right? But it's still around 50% of a Crom Cromwell's HP, so it's, it's just crazy. It's just crazy the amount of HP that this vehicle has compared to um, other tier 6 vehicles or even tier 7 vehicles, right? It's more healthy than most tier 7 or tier 7 vehicles. I'm actually not sure about that because you do have the um, the only right? The Japanese Heavy, which I think has 1550 HP, which is 10 less than the Tonk 2, but I'm not 100% sure about that. The Tiger 1 has 1500, um, Tiger P 1450, so all of those vehicles are just with less base HP than the Tonk 2, which is one tier lower. This vehicle is just troll. It is funny, it is fun, and that's exactly why I think you should all be getting uh, this vehicle. I mean, it, it also has decent results, as you can see, 6 kills, 3,300 damage, 
so far for collusion over here. Actually using the, uh, the wall as cover. These walls, even though they are breakable, they do stop spotting. So if someone was 100 meters behind the wall, you couldn't actually spot them because those walls uh, block spots. But there we go, putting one to the M10 RBFM, shutting down the M10 RBFM. And now there are two artillery left from the enemy team, the FE-304. And the very annoying, the very cheeky left <laughs> The tier 5 uh, um, French artillery, unfortunately missing the FE-304. We actually want to finish off the FE over here, not actually able to catch him at first. But there we go, the FE is going forwards. The FE getting shot down over here. 8 kills for collusion and 9 kills for collusion, shutting down the very cheeky tier 5 French premium artillery. And just securing the win with 9 kills. 3,959 damage. And just a very fun tog 2 round. And I mean, when you have fun, what else do you need? Right, this vehicle is fun, it is funny, it is troll. You can get these results, I mean, not the, the amount of kills, but the damage. You can just go forwards and, and trade. If you see an enemy heavy, same tier heavy, you will most likely be able to out-trade them. Like, if you're not able to do that, then I guess you need to hit the weak spots better. You are a weak spot, some of the other heavies are not. Right, so the TOG2 doesn't have the armor, that's something to watch out for, as you can see. Everything just goes through this vehicle. A lot of uh, a lot of holes inside this TOG too. There are a few ricochets, surprisingly enough, but most of the time you will not be bouncing anything. Uh, don't don't actually trust the armor of the TOG too, because it's awful. It has a lot of HP. You need to trade. Use the gun. Use the HP, and you should be fine. Um, but yeah. Amazing game, collusion over here, like I said, 9 kills, almost 4 halves of damage. Let's go and check out the post-game stats real quick to see how amazing this game was. There we go, easy ace tanker for this, 1,886 base XP earned. A few of those lovely ribbons, a pass Scoochie's medal for destroying two of the enemy artillery, the uh, the FV. Where where are you? Where are you? The FV 304, there it is. And uh, the tier 6 British artillery. And the left of uh, the tier 5 French premium artillery, always fun to get the best Gucci's medal, right? Um, Randy Walters for 8 or 9 kills in this case, 9. Steel wall, surprisingly enough, for blocking 925 um, HP, which is like... I, I thought steel wall was supposed to be, if, there we go, potential damage of at least 1000 HP, so I guess, I guess this steel wall was being generous today. Uh, but a high caliber for the 3,959 damage caused over here. A top gun for at least 6 kills, a top gun and a half in this case with 9 kills over here. Just finishing first on damage, kills, XP of course, 51 shots fired, 37 hit, 32 of those penetrated. But this is what, what, this is what you need to do with the TOG2. Go forwards, shoot, 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 just don't stop firing towards your enemy. Don't stop driving, you have more HP. You have good DPM, just go and out-trade them. And that is exactly what Collusion did, you know, against the T1 Heavy, against the VK3601H, against pretty much every single vehicle over here, just drove through the wall to shoot the Panzer, um, fight for the Cromwell, the even, the even, like the ELC base, my goodness. Just go forwards, just use your HP, just trade, just trade, that's what you need to do with your TOG 2. Um, 16 hits received. 8 penned, 8 did not. This is actually very surprising. I think most of those were actually by the T1 Heavy that shot the track. So, as you can see, yes, 5 non-penetrations by the T1 Heavy, but they were all focused on tracking collusion, not letting collusion go forwards anymore. Um, you will not be bouncing too many shells with the TOG2, like I said. This vehicle definitely does not have good armor, so you do need to watch out. Even though it is a Heavy, you will not bounce stuff. Keep that in mind when you're playing the TOG2, um, 12 vehicles damaged, which is most of the enemy team, 9 subsequently destroyed, 535 <laughs> damage due to player's assistance, so I guess it can even spot with the TOG2 a bit, right? Um, but yeah, almost 2 kilometers traveled, which is crazy for a TOG, you don't really travel with a TOG, that is what the TOG does in a year, basically, most of the time, yes. Um, and also getting a small amount of credits, even though Collusion fired uh, gold exclusively over here. Which is something I don't really think you need to do with a Tonk 2. You do have very decent regular round penetration. Um, the premium rounds are obviously just incredible. 
especially considering the fact that you do not meet tier 8 vehicles, it's only tier 6, 7, um, 5 and 4 that the Tom can meet. I don't really see any reason to just spam gold with this vehicle, unless of course you're going for 3 marks, you're going for something like that. Um, but as a standard player, like a, a non pay to win player, you can still do amazing games with a Tonk. It does have very good regular round penetration. Don't worry about that. You can also make a chunky amount of credits, as you can see over here. If it was regular rounds that went through, it would have been a hundred something thousand credit profit over here, which is delicious. Um, but yeah, premium rounds find 10,000 credit profit over here for collusion with 17. 1,823 XP in total, probably with a, a times 5 mission experience mission over here. Um, 564 free XP, which is always juicy and delicious as well. But yeah, this is it, I guess. Go go and get the TOG to people. Just leave everything else. Get the TOG. Leave the 3D styles, leave the premium days, leave the Cromwell B, the Britannia Panther, the Tiger 13. We don't want those. We want the Tog. Go and get the Tog. Let's have a, a Tog Fest. June is, is now officially Tog Fest. Everyone needs a Tog. Everyone go get a Tog and make Bearfish happy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, you can go to the command center, which I will leave a link to down in the description below. Get some tokens over there, watch Twitch streams, get the Twitch drops, you can get 45 tokens if I'm not mistaken in total from Twitch drops. So that is, if you want two vehicles, you will have to watch those. Um, and yeah, go and get a Tog, enjoy life, it's just such a funny vehicle, it's a fun vehicle, even with standard equipment, standard rounds, um, without premium consumables, you can just go and have some fun inside the world of tanks. But yeah, this is it for this video. So as usual, let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the TOG 2? Is it too good? Not good enough? Maybe maybe it's fine as it is. Also, are you gonna go for the TOG 2? Or do you want some maybe different vehicles? Maybe the Cromwell B with a, a Tiger 131, maybe the Britannia Panther, maybe you already have the TOG to just go and play the TOG a bit more. Um but yeah, let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And as usual, thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I will see you all. In the next video, tell us people have a good one.